Um, so the introduction. Um, so my name is Olli Pekka Karjalainen. Um, I'm a former hammer thrower because I quitted uh, 2013, so that was last year. And now, since this September, I'll, I've been working here in the Kuortane Olympic Training Center as a specialist in speed and uh, strength training project. Let me introduce now our star of the day, Mr. Aapo Laine. Aapo is a high school student here and a hammer thrower as well. So uh, he belongs to a junior national team in Finland. So while I'm talking to you a little bit more, Aapo is going over there and uh, does some warm ups with the medicine ball. So, and after that, we'll be starting. So five to ten minutes. So, um, as Tema mentioned, the subject of your conference is javelin throw, but my event is hammer throw. But um, the way I see it, it's always useful to do some crosstalk. And um, that way, maybe you can have some ideas also for your training about what I've done, and what the hammer throwers do. A hammer throw differs from uh, most of the sports, let's say jumping, running, or even javelin throw, in a way that you have to move the implement around you. So not straight forward as you were. Like in javelin throw, you're throwing over that way. So it's much more straightforward in javelin or in, in, uh, in jumping, long jump, or whatever, you name it we have to move the implement around our body. So that makes it a little bit special. Um, this is why strength training, especially, especially at the top level, is quite uh, specialized in hammer throw. Uh, the research show that the correlation is quite low, for example, between Olympic lifts and uh, results improvement in with the with the 7.6 kilos especially after 70 75 meters so um, you need the you need the certain level in in clean and in in, in snatch and in in uh, in uh, squats but enough is enough and 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 the most important things that you do in the hammer throw happens in a circle and and with the specialized training, strength training uh, events or, or, or whatever you say, movements. So I got a, one good story for you because sometimes, sometimes people ask me, what is my bench press? And, uh, and I try to explain them that um, when you're throwing the hammer, you have to keep your hands straight here. You don't, you don't pull them like this. You don't need this at all. So that's why I don't do bench press. This is, a, this is funny, especially when you're talking to like a normal people, regular people. They are looking at me like, what is he talking? And I found out that it's much more easier to say that it's 200 kilos, and then they're, <laughs> <laughs> then they are just okay, okay. But the fact is, and the truth is that I don't need basically hands at all because they need to be as straight as possible so that the implement moves as far away as possible. I have to read it from here because uh, so I don't, I'm, I'll be, I'll be. Uh, Precise. The idea is to keep the hammer as far away as possible from your body so that the radius is as long as possible. So this way the distance of acceleration is long as possible and it develops the highest releasing velocity. So that's the whole idea of the, of the hammer throw. But it makes the strength training a bit tricky because basically in every 
every every normal like Olympic lifts or 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 you name it, you always use in your hands and you're always pulling. And the whole I and you're pulling it from, from down up, down to up. And the whole idea is to keep your hands straight and move the implement like this. So it makes it makes the strength training a, li a little bit special. So uh, what this mean in, means in practice is that uh, is that uh, the most important strength, speed, and every training, every physical training in hammer throw happens in there, in the circle. So that's that's why we throw all year long. I haven't kept. I haven't kept uh, pause from my from my throwing training, throwing sessions no longer than uh, three weeks, except uh, injuries. So so when I when I when I quit in 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 the end of the summer, the the competition season, I keep like three weeks break, and then I start to throw again. So uh, so. The most ha important happens in there, and then we have some special movements that I'm going to show a couple of you, uh, a, a couple of them to you. And after you're too tired to throw or do, do, or do these, then you can go to the gym or whatever you want. But this is the most important thing to do in a hammer throw. So uh, where's our star, Apo? Oh, we are starting with. Uh, Starting with uh, doing some drills, and uh, it's very, very important in a hammer throw that you you learn to l l use your your body the right way. The things that I said a couple of minutes ago that uh, you need to keep your hands straight. So that's why you need to produce all the all the all the force or all the power into the equipment with your mid body or and your legs. So that's why you need to learn how to move the hammer the right way without using your hands, without pulling them, without pulling the hammer. So that's why we do these kind of drills that uh, Abo is showing now. First, without the beginning swings, you, you, ha you have the hammer in front of there and you really, really have to take the hammer around you with your body and with your legs without using the hands. couple of more. So you you really need to squeeze with your with your abs and, and your and your back muscles quite hard to get it the right rhythm. And and at the same time you learn how to weight the hammer because the hammer comes really slow in front. So that's why you really need to be patient and wait until the hammer is in here and then start for the, for the second turn. Okay. So that was one, one drill. And then there's a second one. Jaksatko tehdä heti? So this one is uh, it's a bit easier, but still quite difficult anyway. Again, without the beginning swings, but the hammer is on side. But no, no swings around your head. And again, you have to do do it with the right muscles, r with your with your mid body. As soon as you start to start to use too much of your, that's it. I mean, you probably fell down or something. So you need to be patient, and and this is the way to learn how to use the hammers that you need in in, in uh, learn how to use the muscles that you need in the hammer throw.
All right, I, I was going to rest for a minute, so I'll explain you the, the next phase. Um, most of the throws that I did at, at the adult age were with overweight hammers. 70%, 80% with overweight hammers. That was my, uh, probably my biggest advantage. A good level with uh, 8, 9, 10 kilos. And, um, and uh, as I said, mentioned before, it is our most important strength training session in, in the circle with the overweight hammers. So what, what equipment do we use? We, uh, well, at least here in Finland, and uh, what I did was I threw 8 kilos, 9 kilos, 10 kilos with the long wire, and then uh, 11 and 12 kilos with a little bit shorter wire. I didn't use weight that much. I didn't throw that 16 kilos with a really short wire because uh, you kind of lose the one element. You lose the wire in that one. And it's really, really easier to pull that weight and produce quite good results with, uh, with the weight, but still it's, it's a little bit different event than uh, the hammer throw. So our boy's throwing now with uh, eight kilo with a long wire, a couple of throws. So it's, it's the same wire as in uh, competition equipment, seven kilos. So it gets a little bit uh, slower than, than the competition ex equipment, but uh, again, and it's a little bit easier maybe to pull the hammer a little bit. But when you, when you throw, in the, throw in the overweight hammers, you really need to be uh, precise with the technique that you're doing the right things so that it goes to the right muscles. better than the first one. In the first one, he was pulling a little bit, but in this one, he lets it go quite all right to the right side. The upper body should be quite relaxed all the time, especially not pulling with your shoulder like this, as you see sometimes. This is probably the most common mistake that the hammer thrower does. Pulls with the shoulder, kind of like drags the hammer after you, and this way you lose a lot of meters. The best one. All right. Um, Arto, uh, uh, he's going to rest a little bit. A little bit now, and after that, I'm going to show you, or I'm not going to show you anything. He's going to show you uh, a couple of throws with a with a short wire. That's a nine kilo, but it's it's quite heavy for for Apo because uh, he's only 18 now. His competition equipment is, is six kilo, as you know. Uh, so so he can use he can use that nine kilos with a shorter wire. That's that's the way. When you when you throw in like really really hammer uh, really really extra weight hammers or, or heavy hammers, uh, that's the way to uh, to to make the speed quite quite normal in the, in the equipment when you shorten the wire. So that's why we do that. And it's uh, of course it's a little bit easier to throw that one. Ooh, quite heavy. Ota pikkasen vielä, ota lähtö vai vähän hitaammin vielä.
better. All right, I think that's everything about the th with the throws. But I wanted to put this one in first. And I wanted to show you a couple of throws because I can't underline it uh, enough that all the most important strength, speed, speed and every physical training in hammer throw happens in the circle. So, so the idea was that to show you, show you how, how, uh, how much you can do in the circle, how, how many different variations. Uh, so it's not just throwing uh, with, the, with the competition equipment or implement and, uh, and uh, learning how to, how to do it technically right. If you, if you only do two like uh, technique sessions with the, with the hammer throw, you miss the whole point. All the physical elements are here and it's the best way to, to uh, do physical things is with the, with the hammer. So, but after that, when you go to the gym, of course we do a lot of Olympic lifts. Now, that's, not the, that's not the case, but, it, but what I said before, enough is enough. So, well, I've cleaned uh, six times with 160 kilos, so I was quite all right in that, one, in that way also. But, but I don't see if I've done six times with 170 kilos. I don't think I've, I, haven't uh, I would have not thrown any further that I did now. So that's just a point to say that when you're at a certain level with the Olympic lifts, that's enough in hammer throw. Okay, uh, the next, next uh, training that we're gonna do is some special things with the, with the weights, with the weight discs and uh, with the bar. So uh, first we do the swings, like this, laajemmin, laajemmin. So it's the beginning swings, but and you can do it every time you do. You do always do it the, the both ways, both sides. Laajemmin, haikauempaa, noi. So this is 10 kilos. I've seen someone do it with uh, 25 or even 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 bigger weights. Then, uh, levykierto normalisti, eli, so this is, uh, this is quite basic, basic stuff for everyone, but then we do some variations that are, that are uh, specialized kind of like to the hammer throw, so you always need to keep your hip in front, because you have to have it in front when you throw it, when you, when you bring, when you take the hammer from here in the throw, you always try to keep your hip up here so that you, you, you can gain maximum speed to the implement by this. So always when you do this, you don't do it like this. You, you do it hip in front. So, but the vielä laajemmin. Oikein haet tuolta. Voit vähän siirtää painoakin sinne. So, so this is another variation. You just keep it in the same level and do it as wide as you can so that you you're using a bit different muscles than in this one where you where you where you take the hammer around your body much closer to your to you mm. so this is the this is the way to do the sides paramahrudis hyvä so it's just a way to do the sides differently. You can also do it with the hand weight or, or, or like this. So. This is also quite special to, to hammer throw. So again, a different variations from basically the same type of movement, but you're still are using a little bit different muscles than in in uh, in the previous ones. Okay, kiitos. Now Abo is resting a little bit. 
Abba still has one session today, throwing session, so I don't want to make tired. Too tired. But anyway, there's a, only the imagination is 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 is, is the limit is your is limitation. I mean, it's there's hundreds, must be hundreds of it, different kind of things, and these are quite uh, quite um, how should I put it? Well, if you think about hammer throw, as I said before, you have to move it around your body, not like this. You do it in a, in a, in a, in a Olympic lifts or anything. So these are more hammer throwing type of strength training. So that's why we do it quite a lot. Now a few things with the bar. Tango niska sakirta. So this is again quite uh, quite uh, probably most of you know this one. So it's the normal one you see almost all the all the track and field athletes do. But then um, then you can do also do it uh, with your hands up. Eli ota se kaksikymppinen siitä ja kädet ylhäällä ja teet sillä. So this is again this is much more difficult than that one, and you have to use. I mean you must use quite quite. Uh, well, he had 40 over there, and that was easy. Then he has 20 kilos in here, and it's quite hard. And in the year, you need to keep the balance as well. So this has been quite good as well. Okay, sitten tanko niskassa se ylösnousu sivulta ja kierto oli tänne. This is this is quite uh, quite a good moment to hammer throw. Alemmas, alemmas. So you need to use your legs. And if you think about hammer throw, hammer throw, uh, you need to you need to use this part of the of, of the of the leg quite a lot. And and have, and and the movement is quite similar as as you have in throw because you're you're doing it like this. So in this one you're also. Doing work with the, what do you call this? I only know one word and I don't want to say it in. <laughs> Glutes. <laughs> uh, in, in track and field, we're quite practical, as you know, so. <laughs> with the terms and everything, so. Okay, yeah. Uh, um, sit then. Uh, Tanko niskassa kierto vielä. Toi kyljet, anteeksi. So you can do the size also with this one. So this is the way to put, if you want to put 100 kilos in this, you can, I don't know what's the point to do that, but, but anyway, it's, it's, uh, it's a little bit different again than the, the, the movement, range of movement is it's a bit wider than if you just have the, have the disc behind you. But you need to be careful all the time with your back when you do this. So the last one that we have is, again, quite specialized to hammer throw. Uh, basically the same thing than, than you, than, than you do, did with the bar when it was in your, in your neck. But you now the bar is hanging and you can use quite a lot of more weight when you do this. Okay. Kiitoksia. Eiköhän se riitä. All right, we'll give a big hand to Apo, our demo athlete, and uh, we'll, I'll, I'll head, let him back to school and, uh, and uh, also preparing for his uh, throwing session in the afternoon. Okay, kiitos. But the idea for you, I mean, the, the thing that I wanted to explain to you is, is uh, the when you're a hammer thrower, you have to think of quite a lot, uh, and you have to think quite differently how to develop those muscles that you actually need in a hammer throw. And they are different muscles than you do with the Olympic lifts. So that's why you have to use quite a lot of imaginations to, to, to create those, 
those uh, drills or movements or whatever you need to, to improve the muscles that you need in the throat. And maybe this is something that you can also think of uh, in, your, in your own practices or in your own coaching when you, in, in javelin throw, when, you, when you're making some uh, Olympic lifts or whatever, sometimes it's good to think that what does this mean in, in javelin throw? Where exactly in javelin throw you do things like this? Not that many times. Still, the, the movement is straightforward and maybe you can, you can do, do it better by some other, other exercise. I don't know, you're the, you're the experts in that one. But in this one, we have to do, do it uh, quite differently because we need to move the implement around our body and that makes it interesting and tricky sometimes. Sometimes, and, uh, but uh, I enjoyed my time the past 20 years when I, when I was a hammer throw. This is what I had to say to you, and uh, hopefully, hopefully, there was something that you you can you can use in your own own training and own coaching. Thank you.